Now let me introduce all the parts. This is acrylic board. This is car wheel. This is fixing part and this screws. This is metal motor. Both I wheel. This is controller board, driver board. This is holder and holder screws. This is the car charger and battery. This is a remote controller, V5 sensor shield, 3 channel line checking sensor. This is Bluetooth, IR receiver, ultrasonic sensor for car control. These are screw accessories. This is battery case, USB extension cord, 20cm female to female Dupont line and servo motor. There is servo motor accessories. Insert the shaft of the motor into the motor hole of the wheel. Install the fixing part. Pay attention to the inner groove of the fixed part. It matches the motor. Then, install the wheels to the acrylic board. Align the mounting holes and fasten with screws. Finally, let the motor wire pass through the hole on the tail part. Install the screws and nuts of the both eye wheel. Each screw fixed with two nuts. Install the screws of line checking sensor. Sensor installed position is between the two fixing parts. Install screws of the driver board and fixing it. Next, install the battery case. Then install the both eye wheel and fixing with screws. Now assemble the bottom part of the holder. Take out the cross-shaped plastic part from the server accessory bag. Cut the four arms into equal lengths. Fix it with self-tapping screws.
Install the servo motor. Fix the middle part with self-tapping screw. Then install the ultrasonic sensor on the servo motor and fix with ribbon. Place the holder bottom together with the servo motor and fix with screw. Install the main board on the acrylic board. First, find the installation location. Install the fixing screws. Mount the main board and fasten the screws. After the main board, attach the shield. Next, install the holder. First, use the screwdriver to drill the holes bigger and then install the screws. Mount the holder and fasten the screws. Now install the IR receiver and the Bluetooth. Put together the top and bottom layer. First, connect the sensor wires. The three wires on my left is to connect the three channel light checking module. First, pass the wire behind the bull's eye wheel. Connect them to the sensor ports. Next is the 298 driver. Only need to connect 4 wires to pin 1234. Connect the motor and the driver board wires. Wires on the left to the left, right to the right. Then connect the power line of the battery case, black to ground, red to positive. Now, assemble the top and bottom acrylic board. First, install four copper pillars. Pass the driver board wire to the bottom of the other board. Align the pillars and the holes on the top layer and fasten with screws. Connect the wires of the sensor and the driver board to the shield. First, connect the driver board to pin 5, 6, 10, 11.
then pin 7 of the left line tracking sensor four of the middle one and three of the one on the right silver motor wire to pin 9 gray to negative, red to positive connect the ultrasonic sensor to pin 12, 13 of the shield Finally, connect the IR receiver to pin 2. Installation is now complete. First, connect the main board. Download the program. Then, turn on the serial monitor. One by one, press the button up and down, left and right, and other buttons of the remote controller that needs settings. Write down corresponding codes and input them to the button corresponding codes of the car program. These codes will be for the IR receiver. One by one change the codes of going backwards, upwards, turning left and right into the codes you have just noted down. Similarly, input the codes of the buttons that need setting to corresponding function codes. The corresponding button can control car action. After modification, download the codes to the main board. Now, we begin testing the car. First, let's do the remote control test. Press the buttons representing going upwards, backwards, turning left and right, and obstacle avoidance. Then, let's test the line checking function. Test is now complete. 